The next technique is uh, based in the shed of sheditation. Uh, it's very simple. You just come through here. Sheditation? It's basically meditation in a shed. And uh, just a bit of meditating, all right? You blocked the door. Hey. Is that right? Oh, hello. It usually lasts about an hour. Is it, is it magic, Jason? Do I look like a magician? Well, welcome along, welcome along. Come in, come in, I'll get your door for you, sir. Oh. Hello. This is Mark, my name's Danny, Danny Bobbin. Hello. Mark Bobbin, hello. And welcome to the first day for the rest of your life. Come on in. Robin Farm is a business, but it's also our home. Yeah, it's been in the family for like 500 years. It was won in a cockfight by our great, 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 great grandfather, Horatio Bobbin. A cockfight? Yeah. What like with his? No, 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 like a... You know, buck, 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 buck. Beautiful shelf. Anything you want, store it on that shelf there. You put your hat on there, can you? On top of the dresser. See, look, just put your hat, stick your hat on there. That's good, isn't it? Lovely. We'll give you a few minutes to get sorted out, get settled in, and then we'll kick straight on with the activities. What is the business? It's a retreat, an exclusive country retreat where anyone with ailments or issues or concerns can come to us and we make them better. Yeah, it's like that famous place where you stayed in London. It is a bit like the Priory. But we're not accredited. Yet. But it won't be long. If we keep getting those fantastic five-star reviews, they'll be knocking on our door looking to accredit us. And then we can really start helping people. Yep, and we'll also become certified providers for the NHS. And that is a cash cow that you can milk forever. But, but we're mainly focused on helping people. Well, I'm Magic Jason. I'm a magician. I do magic, mainly kids' parties, birthdays, celebrations. Did a funeral once. So, just a little bit of what we got here. I was doing this kids' party. And it was his birthday, and he's on the front row, he's shouting out, It's up your sleeve, it's round your back, it's on a piece of string. And in the end, I lost it with him. And I just give him a, just a, just a little clip round the ear. They, they promised not to press charges if I went for anger management. We can say anything to this bear, and it won't share. I once coated Danny's shoelaces in orange juice uh, so that the wasps would chase him. I once opened up Mark's advent calendar and took the big 24th of December chocolate out and then sealed it up with tin foil. I knew that was you. I had a rabbit in my magic act and I killed and ate him. I've seen it all on YouTube, and they're all shouting out, oh, I've seen that yesterday on YouTube. They just don't want magic anymore. I can sense some uh, resistance, but let's just give it a little cut. It'll make you feel good. Do you mind? Ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -ba -dum -ba -ba -dum ba ba dum ba ba I hate it when the person in front of me at the cash machine takes ages. I hate it when I get on the bus and the bus driver won't let me on because I haven't got the right chain. Ba dum bum bum. Oh, uh, hi. I hate it when you're doing a magic show and there's a kid in the front row and he starts shouting, it's up your sleeve, when it's clearly not up the sleeve. It's a magnet. That's the magnet controlling it. It's not up my sleeve at all. These princess parties, frozen parties, superhero parties. I'll tell you what you can do with them. Look, I'll tell you what you can and do with I'll them. And I'll take the hammer right off you. Hey, do you want to see a trick? Yeah, right. <laughs> this cup? Mm -hmm. Watch closely. Okay. Ta-da! <laughs> How'd you do that? Um, yeah, he's got his thumb in it. That is my point exactly! Will you stop revealing the secrets of magic?
Oh, thank God it's you. I thought it was him. Come, come, mate. You've got stuff to do. What are you doing? Shouldn't be in it. Look. What the? F What's that? Well, that's a straight jacket. Oh. Where is he now? I was just going taking his frustration out on some wood with the axe. With the what? With the axe. You gave that psychopath the axe? Oh, uh, mate, oh. I didn't think. Mate, I didn't think. We it... end up in a stew. This is your fault. Where... Oh no! What? No! Quickly! Yes! I... Don't do it! Andy, it's not worth it! Don't... What are you doing? I'm just looking at the sheep. <laughs> He's just looking at the sheep, Mark. I'm just looking at the sheep. I told you. He's just, he's told just you looking at the right. Oh, right, sir. He's just looking at the sheep. Oh, the sheep. oh come on. Let's, let's go the chop some wood. He looked closer uh, from up there. Probably, probably get a smaller axe. That one's, that one's a bit big. He looked closer from up there. To be honest, I think we might be out of our depth here. I mean, we're not we're not actually qualified to deal with whoa, 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 whoa. What are you saying? I'm saying we're not what qualified to do this. Don't. We're not quite, it's not that we're not qualified, is it famously you can't help someone who doesn't want to help themselves and he won't stop obsessing about Frozen. And Anna and Elsa and bloody Olaf! Oh, no. I had to ask you to take the ice cubes out of his drink at lunchtime for fear it would set him off. No, 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 there's only so much we can do. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what I mean, yeah. What do I think so far? To be honest, I'm angrier now than the moment I arrived here. It's shocking. All right, it's a nice place, beautiful scenery, but are these two clowns? I'd actually be, if I'm truthful, I'd be less stressed out if I was here on my own, to be honest. Facilities are terrible. The activities are pointless. I just can't wait to get home. A pasta Grossman's? Oh, yeah. I don't think so. We haven't got time to eat. Why? Because the whole thing's gone bad, Mark. Yeah, and who thought that? It's not mine. Of course it's yours. You're the one that took it without asking him any questions about what his problem how, is. How was I to know he was a complete lunatic? He, he cooked his rabbit. Yeah, I didn't know that until we did the thing though. Have you them asked him? We've got to get him out of here. Yes. We've got to get him out of here. Happy. Yeah. We need him out of here happy because we we need the feedback. We need that good feedback. How many times do you not get this into your head? Without the accreditation, there's no NHS yeah. cash cow. That's all you want is cash cow. Why did you want to help people? That because otherwise help? it's just lunatics in the house. That's what we, that's what it is now. When you arrived, I would say that your anger level, at 10. Now, what we want to see, as you leave here, is a large reduction, yeah? So, what level would you think that would be at? Well, probably And just not. before you go, let me, let me show you this. You see, I think that your affliction all comes down to your belief that there is no opportunities for magicians. But have a look at this here. See this? What's a up? brand new ITV talent show, exclusively magicians, ITV1, look, taps into the new mania for magic currently sweeping the UK. Wow. I mean, Vernon Kay wouldn't be on board to present if he didn't think it was going to be a hit. Vernon yeah? Kay? Yeah, Vernon Kay. So, fancy entering that? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Abracadabra, you already have. No. Yes, I've sent some of your clips from YouTube to the producers, and they say that you are a shoe-in <gasps> for the live auditions. Oh. <gasps> yeah. Wow. What do you reckon about that? Well... Do you know, I thought this week was a complete waste of time, but after hearing that news, fantastic. Cheerio then. Good. See you later. All the best. That was a bit of luck you find that competition, mate. Yeah, that was a get. What? Brilliant. Lucky. Uh, oh, no, 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 I made that up. What? Yeah, of course I made it up. Oh, brilliant. It's magic. No one cares about magic anymore. ITV won on a Saturday night. Oh, smoke and mirrors, he'd appreciate that actually. Later. Doesn't matter though, because we've got the uh, good feedback. This is all yeah. that counts in this game. Good feedback. Whose car's that? <laughs>